From his iconic goals on the pitch to unforgettable performances in the biggest matches, Didier Drogba's fierce playing style captured the hearts of football fans worldwide during his prime time. To this day, the Ivorian striker remains one of the most loved African players to ever play in the English Premier League. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into his remarkable career and find out how Didier Drogba became one of the most loved football players among Chelsea fans. Didier Drogba is a name that will forever be remembered by Chelsea fans as one of the greatest players in the club's history. His impact on and off the pitch earned him the admiration and loyalty among football fans throughout his eight-year spell at Stamford Bridge. Drogba joined Chelsea in 2004 after spending two successful seasons at Marseille where he scored 32 goals in just 55 appearances. But in order to fully understand how the Ivorian ended up in Chelsea, we need to take a step back in time to the 22nd of October 2003 when FC Porto played against Olympique de Marseille in the Champions League group stages. Jose Mourinho was FC Porto's coach at that time, and FC Porto won 3-2. But there was one Olympique de Marseille player who caught Mourinho's eye, and that was Didier Drogba. At first, Mourinho couldn't believe what he saw. It was Mourinho's first time to see such a young man who was fast, technical, and a great finisher. But what really stood out was his passion for the game. From that moment, Mourinho knew he had to have Drogba on his team. In the 24th minute of the game, Drogba scored the opener and the crowd went mad and the noise was deafening. During an interview, Mourinho said, Almost immediately after I took my seat, Drogba scored the first goal and his celebration was so intense as if it was his last goal of his career. At halftime, Mourinho found Drogba in the tunnel and asked him if he knew any other players in the Ivory Coast who could play like him. The reason why Mourinho asked him was because at that time his team didn't have enough money to buy such a player of his caliber. But Drogba simply smiled, hugged him, and said, one day you would be able to buy me. Eventually, after progressing through the season, Jose Mourinho guided FC Porto to victory in both the Champions League final which they won and the Portuguese League in 2004. But on the other side, young Drogba was breaking all the records in France and becoming a local hero. Finally, Mourinho ended up having the means to buy the Ivorian because in the summer of 2004, the Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich bought Chelsea and made Mourinho the highest paid coach in the world. Abramovich gave Mourinho enough money to buy any player he wanted, but his priority was DDA Drogba. It's believed that Abramovich was even willing to pay for Ronaldinho, but Mourinho wanted Drogba, and six months later, after their first meeting in Marseille, Mourinho signed Drogba for Chelsea at £24 million, a club record transfer fee of that time. The Ivorian finally joined Chelsea and was given shirt number 15, but his debut season was inconsistent, scoring just 16 goals in 40 games. He found it challenging to adjust to the physicality of English football, but he quickly regained his form in the second season, scoring 33 goals across all competitions, and leading Chelsea to their first Premier League championship in more than five decades. Over the next few seasons, Drogba established himself as one of the most feared strikers in the world, with his physicality, power, and clinical finishing. Didier Drogba won more trophies than many Premier League legends like Liverpool's Steven Gerrard and Jamie Carragher. Drogba won a total of 14 major trophies during his time at Chelsea, including four Premier League titles. But it was in the UEFA Champions League that Drogba truly cemented his legacy as a legend at Stamford Bridge. During the 2011-12 season, Drogba scored crucial goals in the knockout stages of the competition including a goal in the final against Bayern Munich, which forced the game into extra time. Drogba then went on to score the winning penalty in the shootout, which gave Chelsea their first ever Champions League title. His heroic performance in the final made him a complete legend in the history of the Blues. Drogba's ability to wow his audience didn't happen just once. During the 2009-10 season, Didier Drogba was in a race for the top scorer of the season, he was tied in goals with Manchester United's Wayne Rooney. During their last games of that season, Chelsea hosted Wigan Athletic at Stamford Bridge, while Manchester United hosted Stoke City at Old Trafford. Lampard claimed it was important for the team as it was a penalty to decide the championship against them. 
Many people interpreted this differently, as no one was sure if Lampard would score or if Drogba would miss. Drogba was not happy with Lampard's decision and appeared angry. To show his anger, Drogba did not believe he would succeed. That day, Drogba emerged as the hero of the game and helped Chelsea to win 8-0 against Wigan Athletic. He scored 29 and won the golden boot of that season. Drogba's connection with Chelsea fans was a crucial factor in his success at the club. He was loved by the supporters for his passion, work ethic, and willingness to fight for the team. He often celebrated his goals by running to the fans and taking selfies with them. He was also known for his post-match interactions with supporters. A. Drogba's success at Chelsea is a story of a player who arrived as a relatively unknown and left as a club legend. His impact on the pitch was immense, and his achievements at the club speak for themselves. Drogba's legacy at Chelsea will forever be remembered as one of the greatest in the club's history, and he will always hold a special place in the hearts of Chelsea fans around the world. What else do you remember about DDA Drogba? Tell us in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. We recently made some videos about Roman Abramovich and Jose Mourinho. Check them out here.